So what we have here are two iPhones, one using AT&T's 3G network, one using AT&T's Edge network. This is running Safari and this is running Opera Mini for the iPhone. We're going to just do a couple of quick tests so that you can see and compare the differences between the two browsers. We're going to pull up Start Page, which has some, uh, some bookmarks on there, and uh, we're going to do the same thing with, with the uh, Safari version. We're going to send both of them to CNN and uh, see which one comes up quicker. Now this one will render is rendering the uh, it's like the mobile version of CNN and is is already done and uh, Safari browser hasn't even gotten started yet. We uh, zoom in, we can see that we can already access content on the on the Opera Mobile version, Opera Mini version. And uh, there's the iPhone uh, running Safari just catching up, and it is the uh, is the mobile version, of course. So uh, you can see that this is dramatically faster, and it's dramatically faster over Edge compared to 3G. Um, we're not done though. We're going to take another quick test and show you just how fast it can be. We're going to uh, go into our history and uh, do the same over here. And uh, we're going to load Phone Scoop. So now we're loading Phone Scoop on both devices. And the Opera Mini version is, uh, is, is kicking butt. It is uh, pulling up the site. It's already got some of the artwork ported over. And the uh, Safari version is uh, not doing so well. Keep in mind we are in an area that does have poor coverage. We're inside Caesars Casino here in Las Vegas and uh, cell coverage is not fantastic in these buildings and uh, still over edge Opera Mini is, uh, is pulling down phonescoop.com while Safari is choking on it. There and uh, Opera Mini is done and uh, we can scroll around and read content and we're still nowhere on Safari. You can see in, a, in the most basic of speed tests that Opera Mini on the iPhone beats the pants off of uh, Safari on the iPhone. And of course you have all the features that are on the, uh, the current builds of Opera Mini. We've got the start page with its speed dial. Uh, it's basically a customizable uh, shortcut page that lets you uh, see a bunch of different um, visual shortcuts to your favorite sites. You know, we can jump to the BBC site here and um, look at what's going on over in the UK. Now you can see it's loading the full HTML site and uh, the text is small, the pictures are small, it might be a little bit difficult to see, but just tap once anywhere on the screen and it zooms right in. And if you want to go back, it goes straight back. And um, it, uh, it performs very fast in, uh, in finding content all around the uh, all around the browser. So this is the uh, the uh, tab tool, which is one of my favorite features. We've got these visual tabs here, and it leaves the main uh, window still visible, so you can see what page you're currently on, and then shuffle through uh, all the un or, you know all your other windows here along the bottom. The rest of the settings, uh, you know, you can uh, save pages, set bookmarks, get help, um, look at your browsing history. Uh, perform searches for texts that are on websites and of course the full settings let you uh, adjust a number of different things in the browser to make it more your own. So there is a look at Opera Mini on the iPhone, a very fast browser that uh, Opera Software is submitting to the Apple Store on Tuesday, March 23rd. Hopefully Apple will pro uh, prove it uh, in short order.